All right, we're joined by head coach Shelly Smith for South Carolina <coughs> and junior midfielder Lauren Chang. We'll let coach make an opening statement and then um, open it up for questions. And please raise your hand and we'll get a microphone to you. All right, um, well, congrats to Washington State. Um, what a great game. Um, uh, such a uh, close one, both teams. Um, just a well played game and battled it out. And that's what you're going to find this time of year. And, in the uh, Elite Eight, it was uh, just great college soccer, and someone had to win tonight. Unfortunately, we were on the losing end of things, but uh, I couldn't be more proud of this team and the effort they showed. They were ready to play. We did everything we could, and um, you know, one ball ended up going in tonight. It just wasn't um, uh, on our winning side of things, but I thought our team played very well. Um, and, and did all they could. They played with so much heart and passion, and that's what you want to see in your team, and couldn't be more proud of them. All right, questions for Coach and Lauren. Coach, obviously not the way you wanted the season to end, but kind of what are, now that the season is over, what are your overall thoughts on the season? <laughs> um, you know, well, trying to digest everything at the moment. Um, you know, I, my <clears throat> first thought is just, like I said, I'm really proud of this team um, to make it to this point. Um, you know, obviously we fell a little short, but we, we played longer than a lot of teams. And, um, and this is our goal, to put ourselves in these positions um, to compete for championships. And this team has, has won an SEC championship. They've put themselves in a chance to compete for a national championship. And, um, and gave it their all. And, um, you know, I couldn't ask for more. And the, the fact that we had a senior class that, that is so special, uh, has done so much for the program. Obviously, we're always sad um, at the end of a year with seniors um, leaving the program. But, uh, you know, I know Chang's very sad yeah. <laughs> to see your friends go to, or teammates, um, best friends. And it's just a difficult time. Um, but. We always have players behind them working to make this program that much better and um, the, than when they left it. And that's uh, the goal. Um, that's what Lauren's done since she's been here. That's what these players have done. That's what these seniors have done when they got stepped foot on campus. And uh, they've improved our program over the four years and couldn't thank them enough. <clears throat> Shelly, I think there were 11 fouls in the game, but maybe could have been more than that. Could you just speak to the physicality of what was out there on the field? and? Uh, just how I guess both teams wanted it so much. Yeah, it was a battle for sure. We had to play through that, and um, you know, <laughs> there were some collisions. There were some things that I think um, you know could have been some calls made, but um, it, you know, both teams battled, and um, you just have to play through it and and pick your times and try to get one. And um, I think it was just a. Like I said, a well-played game, a physical battle. We knew it was going to be a battle, and we were ready for it. I think these guys responded so well and continued to play through that, and that's what put us in a position to try to win that game, which we were close to doing. And along those lines, how's Anna doing, and what was her injury? Uh, yes, yeah, she hurt her ankle. I think rolled it pretty, pretty badly, so um, she had to come out. Um, and that's the other thing is obviously that changes a little bit, but proud of the players to come in and move some people around and fill that role. And I think they did very well to, to do that. Um, so we missed Dana out there, obviously, but thankful that she didn't leave the field for the last time. We have her back next year and build on this type of performance. Um, but she's been great all year, and she'll be fine. Lauren, as Coach mentioned, you guys had uh, accomplished a lot this season, winning the SEC, going unbeaten in the SEC in regular season, making it to the Elite Eight. What was your kind of favorite moment throughout the season? Um, I think my favorite moment was how close we all got as a team, personally. I mean, yeah, in past years, like, we have been close, but I would challenge anyone in the NCAA to beat us in, um, like, I don't know, we just have so many friendships that transcend age and class, and for that to happen is something really special. So. I think I don't know. Like on our on our way to the SEC tournament, I feel like 
through those challenges where we had those ties where, you know, some teams would be like, oh, you know, like this is where we fall apart. I think that's where we really fell together as a team. And I think that was my favorite part about this whole uh, season. Just, I mean, we're incredibly close, this group. So that was definitely my favorite part. Uh, I know Shelly talked about the seniors, but Lauren, can you touch on the seniors and, and what, what they mean to you? And obviously, as you move to a senior, maybe what things that you've taken from them that you're going to maybe apply next year? Yeah, of course. Uh, I just want to say like thank you to our seniors. I mean, it's one thing to have best friends that are you know a year older than you, but to have people who push you to be a better person and player, and for them to do that for us every year that I've been here, and for us to grow together, um, I sh I'm so thankful for the people that are around us, especially the seniors. And um, moving forward, <laughs> I guess I am a senior now. That's weird. Um, but no, I'm definitely we've learned so much from the people who are above us. And they taught us to lead by example. So my class is definitely going to take that into this um, up upcoming off season and into the season next year. Shelly, what did you say in the post game huddle? And did Grace or Mick step forward and say anything? And if so, what did they say? Oh, yeah talk about that because we get too emotional. Uh, no, it was uh, actually very touching. Um, you know, all of us just thanked each other. Um, I, I mean, the group means a lot to everyone and um, not just the players on the field, everyone in the part of the program. And, um, you know, Grace thanked everyone and, you know, said they have so much more to continue on and play for and stay together as a group. It's, she can't believe how close knit our team is, our entire um, extended team, our staff, everyone. Um, we take care of each other and we battle for each other and help each other through tough times and enjoy the good times together. And, and I think she's thankful for those moments and pass along wishes to the team uh, to continue that and help each other. And they have um, a bright future ahead. Grace was the only player who, who stepped forward and said something. Uh, or Le there Alexis players? stepped yeah. forward as well. Mix said, you know, time flies when you're having fun. So um, just remember that, you know, we all think we're going to be in college forever, but that's definitely not the case. <laughs> and right. um, that's definitely what Mix said. And then Lex just reiterated how thankful she was for everyone. Anything else for Coach and Lauren? One more. Coach, I know it is hard to kind of look towards next year, but if you kind of look at your starting lineup tonight, you got a lot of people who are returning for next year. Can you just talk about and kind of how you can kind of use this year to grow and kind of what you're looking forward to maybe from your lineup next year? Yeah, I mean, I think we, we've always relied on a group of players to play, and you, it's not um, – we rarely have a team of seniors on the field. I think um, we've always had young players uh, contribute. Um, you see it again tonight. And um, it's important that players in your program are stepping in to fill roles that the seniors leave. And that's what we expect them to do. Um, you know, Lauren will be in this position next year where we've had to rely on the next group to come in and replace her. And these guys have done a good job. They continue to improve when they get here to the day they leave. And that's our goal and that's our job. Um, we want players in the program that would do that. And I think um, players that, that come here and make it to the senior year have done that. They've pushed each other. They've grown as people um, in the program. They want what's best for the program and the team. And they leave here, um, they've left the program in a better place. And that's really important. We, we talk about that all the time with the team. Um, so I know uh, the players behind are ready to step in. Uh, you saw it this year with Sutton taking Tatum's place right away and doing such a good job. Um, young players stepping in the midfield when Anna just got hurt. I mean, the, it's what your, our program's built upon. And um, that's we're going to ask the – the freshmen to step up into big roles next year, sophomores and the freshmen that come in to play some key roles like some of them did this year. So that's our expectation, and um, we're excited about the future um, again coming next next year. Really excited. Anything else, guys? Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you.